Welcome to Australia Stock Chart Series. In this video, we're going to cover XJO key levels, which is also ASX 200 key levels and go through what we discussed in the past and what's this current structure of the chart looks like and what we think the probability will be going forward as well. And we're going to cover some of the performances, past performances of stock charts we have discussed in this channel and also through my Twitter handle and trading view. And then we're going to look at the end, some of the interesting charts for this week listed in ASX market. My name is Shivendra Bhatia and I'm a founder of Peaceful Weekend Investing Hub, trying to make investing easy, accessible and simple for busy professionals like you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would request you to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified my new coming days and thank you. Quickly read through the disclaimer. This video is only for educational purposes and not to be considered as investment advice. Whatever stocks we're going to discuss, I might have a personal interest and vested interest because I might have positions on them. And please do consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If we have read through and agree with it, let's proceed. Let's start with the first part of the series, which is our index. So what, what did we discuss in the past? So I'm sharing my trading view uh, chart XJO and this is a weekly chart. Please make a note of this date and time for this video because that's very important. It is today is 25th of September 2021. So please don't don't make any mistake if you're watching this video later on. This is important because this analysis is only valid as of this week. And so accordingly, you should make your understanding. Thank you. So what we discussed in the past. As you can see, I have posted on March 7th, 2021 that what was my view that I, I was seeing there was a resistance which was coming through. And once the resistance was taken away, then we can see further rally up, which exactly happened that, uh, as per our probability. So as you, as you know, investing is all about probability, but based on the Fibonacci series and sequence, I that was our prediction and that came true and the stock and I shared all the key levels at this at this particular chart. You can go and have a look at it. What was my key levels which I shared at that particular date. And now what is happening today? And then thereafter there was another um, view. As you can see in the red because I given the link. So trading view doesn't like it. So they've taken it off from the public. So it is available only for my view. But I did share my view on that particular day. What was my analysis? So this analysis went through this was a follow-up analysis on june 7th and further up this it did broke the resistance which was our resistance line which was all-time high of 7196 96. and now exactly the this week we can see that the stock chart is showing the support let's look at the current structure so what is the current structure saying for us it is saying that this we we were expecting the rally which happened as per our uh, prediction and now it has retraced back and testing again so as long as holding this level i'm comfortable if it breaks this level on the weekly closing basis then you need to look at the next level which could be coming in over here that could be the another or you could see further downfall up to up to 6,500 also is not ruled out. So please keep a watch on this le crucial level. As of now, as you can see here, the candle structure says that there has been a bit of buying coming up because there's a long um, wick at the bottom, which tells that there has been some buying at this level. So let's see, I'm gonna, cru uh, I'm gonna wait and watch um, on the weekly closing basis only. So I don't look at the market on the real time basis. So that's my view on XJO, that is ASX 200. Now let's move to our individual charts. So first chart is all, this is Aristocrat Leisure. They're the one who providing the software and solution for um, all the casinos and the gaming industry. So they're kind of a very big player. So we, we had a view at that time and I posted it in April 17th, 200, 2020 and since that this stock has given a phenomenal run 
so what was our view at that time i was saying the saying above 200 sma which is simple moving average which i talked about in, in last video as well hopefully you are aware of that and it was because of covid there was a correction and i took that opportunity to take some position and averaged up and since then stock has pretty much from leg levels have almost doubled so initially when we were talking about it was at the level of 28 or thereabouts and then now it's around sitting at 50 so its stock has doubled since last august 17th and then again after that i i had another view in here which is on april 9th which is at the time it was touching all time high so as you can see here once it reached because we there was a position which we we took at this level now this was a crucial level to break which was kind of an all-time high and once it it broke there is a further rally fueled up and now there's a nice uh, rally happening and it is uh, touching all all-time high and there has been a bit of retracement but that's okay i'm holding on to positions and and my for me the important uh, levels to mark is $40 and I'm going to hold on position and that's my trailing stop loss for this particular stock because it's it's uh, this particular stock is for my long term portfolio so I'm okay and uh, give some time for the stock to you know rally further so let's move to the next stock that was our last um, stock uh, talk series there that was a telstra and telstra when i posted the when was i posted let me see so this is the time when i first shared my view in january 27 2021 right and then i made made another video when it was about it close above this all-time high but that was my view which i shared with my community members that this is the best time to get into it because it was starting the structure was changing as I've shared with you, there was a supply zone, there was a demand zone and it had already bottomed out and the structure was about to change. And since then, the stock has rallied significantly. So it was at the level which was on Jan 27th, which was around $3. Now it's sitting at close to $4. And it's kind of at the moment it is having a major resistance. Once it crosses, then we're going to see further rally up on this particular stock. So till then, we have to uh, wait and watch. And I'm just waiting for it. It did give a close, but it didn't sustain. But you can see there's a lot of good buying has come in in this week, uh, last couple of weeks. But let's see what happens. The crucial levels I have already shared. You have to mark it out some levels which are important. If you look at on daily chart, uh, let's uh, look at the daily chart. For me, the crucial levels are 3.81. Um, for my position and then I'm going to take further position as it moves up. So that's our second stock DMP Domino's Pizza that has given a phenomenal run from the first time it was shared. Let's look at that. When was it shared? It was shared in August 17, 2020. Yes, that was the first time um, I said that Domino's very close to the multi-year breakout. And that exactly happened that was sometime in August and since then the stock has just had one way rally up and phenomenal run has been there so if you look at the uh, returns the stock has given 126 percent return since then and that's phenomenal returns in this particular uh, market that was a great trade we started off with $73 and now it's sitting around 150 180 so 158 so almost double. There's another one which kind of ARB, which I kind of uh, had a trade but didn't share um, openly in, the, in my social media handle. But it was a phenomenal run which I kind of took the position when it took the breakout here. And since then it is going in upward rising channel and right now it is retracing back to this particular support line which is an oblique su support line and i'm kind of making the positions arb i don't know if you know this company this company makes a lot of um, great products for four by four and 
the products are well received in Australia, US and other markets. And it's going in an upward rising channel. And every time it touches this um, kind of a support, takes it on the oblique line and we, it's an opportunity to add more. So as long as there's a rising upward channel and it doesn't break, I'm, I'm going to take a long positions on this stock. PLS. So PLS has been also a phenomenal run. When was the first time I shared that was in that was in February 9th, 2021. And let's look at it at that moment at time, all eyes on the growth. So that was a minerals and it was trying to break out from this major weekly resistance. And there was a lot of volume, a lot of interest was there and the stock has doubled from there on. So phenomenal run. And then further, pos uh, further positions were added after it kind of, you know, had a great quarterly result. So that I shared with the, uh, to my community members and also in the trading view. And now it's kind of at the moment consolidating our, our sideways movement. So. As long as you're holding with the uh, you know your proper line of control and stop losses, you can trail these positions going forward. So the, I'm not not in a hurry to exit them at this point. So these were the stocks which we discussed in the past. Let's look at some of the stocks for this week. Some of the interesting chart. Before we progress further, make a note of the the time. It is 25th of September 2021. The date, which is very important because all analysis are based on this week. If you're going to watch this video later on, it's important for you to make a note of the date and time. So this is an interesting stock, uh, which is kind of, uh, if you see here, Sonic Healthcare, because of COVID, they have all the different um, medical diagnostic services. Obviously there's, because of COVID, there's a lot of demand for them and they have, you can look at it here. There's some financial data. The stock has been giving good returns for last one year and has had good performance for the last one month and one week. It has not been giving good returns, but it is. If you look at the structure here of the chart, because this particular series, I'm going to only talk about stock charts, though I look at fundamentals as well, but it is important to see what market participants are kind of uh, looking at through the lens of the stock charts and that too long term monthly chart so this is a monthly chart i only look at monthly and weekly charts and make my decisions i hardly use the daily chart in case i have a position which are kind of a, a medium to medium term position so for for my exit levels if stock have run up too much but in this case as i can see the important levels to mark here is this um so this particular level will it will be crucial if it holds on to it. It's time to take some uh, positions for long because stock has given, um, you know, consolidation for a couple of months. This is a monthly chart. So each bar represent one month. As you can see here, the stock has been in sideways for almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Almost a year. The stock was consolidating It's given up. Now it's retracing back. So it's better to, you know, keep an eye on this particular stock. And once it comes back and goes um, up, so it's better you can take some positions with some stop losses. So that's very interesting. Another one is ALQ. Again, there's no financial advice I'm giving you. I'm just sharing my view and my analysis. And if you please make your own decisions and also consult your financial advisor before you make any decisions of investing in any of these stocks we're talking about. This one is given a multi-year, I'm hoping that there'll be a multi-year breakout, which is like last time the price was seen were in 2012, tried to try to break it, but failed. So it seems like it is in some very nice basing. It has now sitting. So these are the key levels which I've kind of marked here and I'm observing it, but I haven't have any position at the moment but I'm waiting for this all time high breakout for this stock with good volumes. That's important. Another stock is BSL. Okay. This BSL was something which I shared earlier. So this is something which I forgot to mention. This was stock, which I've already shared now time when, when last time I shared this particular stock, this was in sometime in, in April 20, 25th, 
and stock is kind of at the moment not giving losses but right now it's coming back and testing that support zone so if you have missed out you can hold on for the long trade because right now the structure is still the positive one and because there has been even that it is a steel stock so you have to be cautious because it's all commodity and most of the steel stocks have retraced back globally as well because of iron crash so just this is something which is not a new stock but something to keep a eye on so that's it and uh, this is what i wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching this video if you have made it this far i'm sure you liked the video please do subscribe the channel and also hit the notification bell and if you can like and dislike the video so at least i get some feedback and it helps me improve further till the next video i'm signing off see you next time bye bye